Another one of the important subjects in brush painting is painting of the plum. And what we see usually is just a plum branch, and quite frankly, that represents all of plumdom. So you wouldn't necessarily paint an entire plum tree, but rather this one perfect branch. In order to do that, it's important that you use the right brush. And for this, I suggest that you use a mountain horse brush because it's very coarse. And you want to use the side of the brush. You're going to be doing a wipe stroke the tip of the brush lands on the paper, and then you're just going to drag that brush along, like so. And you see this brush will create a beautiful flying white stroke for you. And the interesting thing about the painting of the plum and the plum branch is that all the branches come off at right angles to the preceding branch. So you see this nice wide angle. The second thing that we want to keep in mind is that we don't want to have the branch travel too far without having our beautiful plum blossoms break up the branch as it travels along. And to do these blossoms, I suggest that you use either a small soft brush or a detail brush, say your uh, best detail brush. And also, it's really important that you make a reservoir of your tone so that you don't find yourself doing half of the blossoms and then wondering, oh gosh, I have to go and mix the tone again. So it's good to have a piece of paper handy and you can test what's on your brush. And this could be just a little bit darker. So I'm going to darken up my reservoir and then I'm going to rinse the brush completely and then go back into the reservoir and start doing those wonderful plum blossoms. And they're just little circles. And one, two, three, four, five, we can do one here. And you just want to have a lot of these blossoms, hither and yon, and we're doing strokes that will be in the way of our branch as we go along. And so doing some more. And then we can continue along with the branch, like so. But you see how nice it is to have that interruption of the branch and the same thing down here. And we can have a branch come out here and then do more blossoms as we go along. Oops. Okay, you always want to make sure that your brush does have that good tip to it. So let's see what the blossoms look like when we do them with a detail brush. That was a soft brush. Let's see. This works well also. Okay, and then you're going to come in with a fine detail brush and be sure that you wait long enough because otherwise your tone is going to run. And we're going to do stamen and little calyxes. Okay, so here's some calyxes. Then we're going to have a branch come out here, like so. And just so many little dots and exciting things going on. Now, I'm really afraid that this is going to run on me, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to do these anyway so that you get the idea of what's going on. Okay, but keep in mind that you want to wait till it dries down a little bit more. Okay, and so. And then you would just go on and on, continuing with your branch and your blossoms, and there's just no end to it. It's so exciting to do.